Today, we're gonna talk about your ch credit checklist, but first, let's talk about your transcript. What is that thing? A transcript is a document where you can view your official academic record. It has a list of all your courses, grades, and credits. It also provides your class rank and cumulative GPA. At the top of your transcript is your demographic information like your name, date of birth, and student ID. On the left column of your transcript shows all the courses you took, which are grouped by school year. It also shows the title, the ACCN number, grade, and credit earned for that course. Total credits earned for that year is also mentioned. On the right side of your transcript is your credit summary. This shows things like your required, completed, and incomplete credits which are shown respectively. At the bottom is your total credits earned and the ones that you need more. Don't forget that you need a minimum of 24 credits total in order to graduate. Your transcript will be sent by your counselor through your email titled 2023 Unofficial Transcripts for Stars. So keep an eye out for your transcript. Now, let's look at your credit checklist that is in your STARS Google Classroom. You can use your transcript to fill it out, and remember, this form is required for your PTP. For classes that you're currently taking, put your anticipated grade for the class. As you might remember, you'll need a total of four English credits in order to graduate. On the checklist, put down what your grade was for your English class and put in the credit you received. That is your indicated grade. Let's say you received a B and one credit for your English class in freshman year. You'll put a B1 for that class under ninth grade. You'll need to do the exact same for your basic English electives, like expository writing or AP English. If you retook any classes, you'll put your indicated grade under the year that you completed the class. For social studies, you'll do the same thing. For modern history of Hawaii and participation in democracy, you'll put your indicated grade earned in 9th or 11th grade depending on when you completed that class. Do the same thing for your basic social studies electives. Remember that you need four credits. For math, you'll need a total of three credits rather than four. Although, the same rules apply, but if you did Algebra 1 in 8th grade, you'll put your indicated grade earned for that class under 9th grade along with your geometry grade and so on. But if you took Modeling Our World, you'll put it in the block underneath Algebra 1. Math Workshop is an elective and it doesn't belong here. For Science, you'll also need 3 credits. You'll put your anticipated grade for that class under whatever grade you completed it in. Although, you'll put your science elective in the elective blocks, such as chemistry, physics, and other such things. Next, let's work on your world language, fine arts, CTE, and JROTC electives. To complete this area, you'll need to have two credits from one specified program. If you don't know what course you need to take to complete this, please contact your counselor. For physical education and health, these classes only give you half a credit due to the fact that these are semester classes. Team sports and weight training count as an elective, not a basic PE credit. You'll need one credit for PE and half a credit for health. Your personal transition plan, or PTP, is next. You'll need to complete this by junior year and give you half a credit. As a reminder, you need to complete this for graduation. You'll have time to complete this during your 11th grade stars. Lastly, for the rest of your classes, they're under electives. You'll need a total of six elective credits for the elective section. Transition to high school and team sports 1 and 2, math workshop, and English lab classes are also elective classes. If you aren't sure which classes fall under here, be sure to ask your counselor. Congratulations! Congratulations. You've made it to the end of the list, but before you're done, you still need to total the credits you earn for all grades. Freshmen put in total credits you plan to earn once your freshman year is over. Consistently check on your grades and make sure you're on track to have your total amount of credits for needed for graduation. Remember, it's a minimum of 24 credits. Thank you so much for listening. And remember, if you have any questions, please contact your counselor. See, See you soon! soon.